I read my Taurus's, um, my bad, my phone had, um, had died. My phone died, uh, last night. So I'm back up this morning, um, Taurus's, <laughs> um, finishing your reading. I was not going to do it over. I was still reading y'all. Um, I didn't realize the phone had died. Okay. So I'm going to continue here. So basically what I really see here, Taurus's, right? What I really see here is that you really are concerned with money, 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 money. Majority of the time, that's where your focus is going, right? Um, you're really focused on growing your money, making money, ways of how you can make more money. Um, and you could be possibly waiting on um, some results or some type of... Uh, some type of news com coming back, like it's like you may be waiting to receive like um, approval from like a loan, you know, or for a loan for a house or car or a business loan or something like that. Okay, but what I also see is that you could also be waiting from something from this person as well. Okay, so you may be putting um, like a little bit more more energy than the person um you may be putting a little bit more energy than the person that you're with like as far as the love part but majority of your energy is going towards like your money like you're working a lot you're working 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 uh, maybe uh not really making the connection a priority but you want this connection with the person that's what i see but this person, um, cause I do still see you waiting. Okay. So you could be waiting on this person to make another step forward in the connection. Okay. But if this person has you waiting, if you're waiting on this person Taurus, um, it's because they think that you're a charity case. They think that you're a charity case and they may be losing money with you, okay? They also may be having some financial issues of their own, okay? It's like they they have money, but they may be struggling themselves, okay? And they may be possibly losing money with you, like I said, okay? Um, they also think that you're selfish. Like, they think you're selfish. Um, they may. It looks like they feel that you may act like you're struggling to to get money from them or something of that sort um so if this person if you're waiting on this person to uh commit to you towards this is why they're not committing okay because because yeah they think you're just a charity case or you just may want money from them they think that you're you're super selfish basically okay um all right so what i also see here is um right okay so yesterday this was in reverse yeah so all right so uh what i also see here is um like someone is being very cold yeah i was eating on this table yesterday and so the cars were but yes this was uh queen of swords in reverse yesterday so yeah cold um i see someone being like super cold like just um, maybe all logic, you know, ignoring their heart. Like I said, I do see someone having like a blocked intuition, right? Okay. So like someone is, it could be finding ways to distract themselves to ignore their feelings or their heart or the signs that the universe is giving them. Okay. I see someone also, like I said, has a wall up. You know, and that's where, like, that deceptiveness is coming in at. So, I see dishonesty. And, yeah, someone is just really not being, like, having compassion. Or I see, like, unkindness going on here. Okay? So, yeah, and that's what I pretty much see here. All right, let's see what the possible outcome here.
what I also see like from this person is, you know, they may think that like you're a one-sided charity tourist, but they may also think the love is one-sided. So even if you have an interest in being with this person, they may feel that they have more love for you than you have for them, like that you're showing because you may come off as, as not, like, yeah, not making the connection a priority. So this is how they're feeling. Okay, so they haven't made any other moves towards the love. Okay, so even if they do love you, they they may not be, you know. And neither one of you guys may not be showing it. Both of you guys may be actually coming off pretty cold. So even if this person loves you, they may be coming off cold because there may not be like trust there. They may not trust you, um, Taurus. And you may be coming off cold and distracting yourself like through work or whatever. Like that's where all your focus is at money, money, money and not the actual love connection. But you may want to be with it even though you want to be with this person. Possibly. But if you do, this person can't tell. Okay, and then you probably can't tell because they they have a wall up because there's no trust. Okay, so all right, so we got for the possible outcome here. Um, yeah, so we got um, yeah, so we got someone that may be like sending. I see like empty promises here, you know, for the possible outcome. Okay, like someone may be saying things and not really uh, following through with what they're saying. Okay, so that that goes again back to like trust here. Okay, um, I see, I definitely see a lot of jealousy going on. Um, this could be revolving around money because I have, this is like all pentacles here, you know. So this could be, you know, revolved around money. So someone could be jealous of the other as far as the money making. Someone could someone could be um yeah. Unfortunately, someone could be jealous of the other as far as their career or the money that they're making or the uh what part of their journey that that um the other person is on as far as money. Okay. Um, it could be jealousy too, you know, as far as, as love, but I just see jealous period, but I see a lot of money too. Okay. This person could feel like that, like towards like you could have, you know, led this person on and, and to believe that uh, that you wanted a relationship or something like that, but really you're more of your priority is towards money and not really following through on, you know, the love connection. But this person could have also done that as well. This person could have also, you know, um, promised, you know, or or made it seem like they wanted a relationship, but they're not making any moves because they don't fully trust yet as well so yeah um let me get um let me get one more card here let me get one more card for the possible outcome please clarify the king of pentacles in reverse please clarify the king of pentacles in reverse here Yeah, somebody's really jealous. Yeah, so what I kind of see is that, um, yeah, if this connection was to not actually work out, it would be because of money, <laughs> unfortunately, which would be really kind of fucked up, but yeah, it would be over money. Give me one more card. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So here and also in the possible future, um, I see the connection just being, 
just delayed, just just set back. Like it it doesn't look like it's any steps forward. Like at a, is at a, like a standstill, possibly stagnant. Um, yeah, like it looks like no one knows what the other really wants, or no energy is being put towards, you know the love connection like like someone doesn't know like the future they have with the other person like as far as love okay um like there may not even have really even been a ser serious conversation like you guys may not even have had a serious conversation about you know the love connection like you know where are we going as far as this like someone is has a wall up um no emotions <laughs> i don't see no emotions in in this reading you know um i don't i don't actually see any love unfortunately towards um and if there is love it's definitely uh fear and blocked intuition and just a lot of coldness going on a lot of coldness. And I'm starting to think it's coming from both of you guys. <laughs> so. All right. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, Let me pull a couple oracles here. Yeah, unfortunately, Taurus, I don't really see um, this love connection, you know, going any, anywhere uh, in the near future. Um, and if it was, you know, someone has to really trust their intuition here, um, you know, basically move forward without fear. Um, that's pretty much what I see. Uh, be more vulnerable. Yeah. Like, I don't really see, like, any vulnerable, uh, vulnerability, vulnerability in, in this, you know, um, actually showing your feelings and communicating those feelings, uh, being upfront and honest with each other, okay? Um, if those things don't happen, then this connection will just continue to be set back here and just delayed here. All right, give me a few oracles here. Energy from the universe, I need a few love oracles. Yeah, what I also see is this person may feel like that they are not good enough for you. Like this person may feel like um, that they can't afford you right now. And they probably, they may not. It's like they may have money, but they may not be able to afford you. So they may, they may be having, working on their money as well. Because their six of pentacles is in, is in the reverse here. independence so does have the potential to to uh to blossom those things that i just said if, if those things are done towards in the connection then it definitely has the potential to blossom okay that's some that's some positivity <laughs> okay um listening here all right, so we got listen. So when you guys do communicate, actually, you know, just listening to really understand the other persons from that point of view, uh, it's not about being like right or wrong. It's more of just really stepping in the other person's shoes and understanding, um, understanding what they're saying from their uh, perspective. Okay, it's it's not really a such thing as right or wrong, you know, because humans pretty much put meaning to right and wrong. So when you're, you know, when you guys are communicating, 
and and saying that I'm right or wrong and and, and that's the reason for most disagreements or uh, block of communication because someone always is trying to be right but in reality there is no such thing it's more of people just having different views from their perspective you know so just stepping in the other person's shoes listening understanding having empathy um share the love yeah so i just said that like this this needs a this green represents um rebirth you know um grounding energy calming energy but share the love you know don't be scared to share your love because like i said i didn't really see any love in this reading so this is asking you to be vulnerable and actually share the love that you have because it is there um that three I mean, the green represents growth and rebirthing, um, and the, you know that's what this connection may need. That three also represents um, that three also represents stepping into your creativity. Okay, so um, and so does this uh, purple. This purple rest and reconsider. That purple also represents. Um, creativity as well so using your creativity to find ways to grow your money here do something different that other people are not doing um, doing the same thing is not working if it's doing the same thing is not working then change and do something new because that's where growth comes in not in just a love connection but money as well okay um, three the three here on share the love is representing letting go of toxicity Okay, letting go of toxic behaviors, uh, toxic connections from the past here. Um, and even if this love connection, even if this love connection is toxic, then yes, basically letting go of, of the connection to us. Okay, if, if, if it's toxic behaviors that's, that's also getting in the way uh, of this connection, letting go, of, letting go of those toxic behaviors as well. Okay, um, but I do see fear here, um, too, here in the reading, and that fear may be coming from uh, experiences from the past, Taurus. Okay, that may be coming from experiences from the past, so that three is telling you to let go of those toxic situations, or if you are dealing with someone from the past, a karmic or something toxic, to let go of that, um, yes, and move past and move forward, okay? Um, we have rest and reconsider. So this is asking you to reconsider a um, an offer or a decision that you're looking to make. Um, it could even possibly be this connection or anything. You know, only you would know that, Taurus. Um, but take a moment and rest and reconsider. Um, look at it, like I say, in at different angles. Okay, and that also comes with listening. You know, stepping in other people's shoes um, and looking at things at, at a different uh, perspective there. Okay. Um, yes. And as you see, you know, this guy is on the rocks here. So he's definitely in a atmosphere to where he is able to really rest being his own energy, um, you know, to, to reconsider uh, certain options and decisions here. Okay. So... So yes, um, also, okay, so we have um, the black here. So the black, it also really represents uh, independence um, and codependency. Um, not, it doesn't rep represent codependency, but stepping into your ind uh, independence, not really uh, depending on other people, you know, even if it's for money or anything. Uh, happiness and things like that um also represents power okay so this is like a powerful connection okay and it does have the potential to blossom you know if you do those things that i mentioned okay so this is definitely power couple potential let's put it like that um just may take a little work and waiting um you know, you may actually have to wait on this person because they may have the potential to make a, a a decent amount of money, but maybe not able to give that money to you right now, Taurus. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I see this purple, and it also represents royalty and luxury. 
So you guys have the potential to be a power couple and to be able to live in luxury, even if that's not presented to you at the moment, Taurus. Okay.